what's up everybody we got us a really good game for you here we got my boy quantum physics aka sweaty assault shifter another one of my friends i king vex not sure this thresh is against my boy dog two in the jungle he's an mf main best mf in the world they got tyler one and tf blade so this is an amazing game we're against a gragas where this matchup isn't necessarily great but it's not going to be awful either i don't think so we're just going to focus here try our best and play this one out um so against gragas well my I, ideally my mindset coming into this game is just hard camp bot i really want to go blue for him so hopefully we can just look to do that yeah so we're just waiting in this bush early on no real idea where they are um they could be anywhere Uh, this could be a, a bit. Wait for their support. Uh, yeah, sure. Satisfy yourself. I have bigger plans. Complete the expendable army. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna get a ward top. Looks like they're not coming to ward. Just a tool to me, Rost. I don't think they're gonna come ward. Alright. Um, so. Start here, of course. You know, obviously, four, uh, four autos. And not do this. So, this is a path thing that I've never really done before. But my idea is to just hard camp bot land. My mouse feels so weird. You know, that's funny because I was just thinking that. Have you guys ever played your first game of the day and your mouse just feels really weird? Awkward. So, it looks as if uh, Gragas started red. That's good because if he starts red, it normally means that he won't go into my top junk. So, he doesn't do that. And, uh, I won't get punished because the only way I get punished here is by him, you know, obviously invading over there. So, I'm watching a uh, bot right now just to see if they step up the board anywhere which they haven't so as soon as thresh hits two we're just gonna force down bot it's gonna be great for us so we see gragas as well uh, need to get level two here Yeah, I think I baited him. No. Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That actually kind of worked out for us. Okay. So, she had flash and enough mana to do that, I guess. Uh, that sucks. I mean, getting her flash there is actually pretty worth, but... Didn't think that she had enough mana to do that heal or whatever. Hmm, yeah, uh... That was played pretty weird by the Thresh, but... I mean, we got their sums and whatnot. Only Nami got kills, so that's really not that bad. I still shouldn't have died. Gragas did wind up invading me as well, so... I'm actually very put behind now. This was pretty risky, and it didn't work out well, but... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they lose out on a lot of XP there. Overall, just pressure on the map. That's really poor for us. Oh well. Up is no flash, is it good? No. Since I know that he did my top side, I know that he didn't do this yet. He might come here right now, and if he does, I'd set to give it, but I don't really have anything else to do right now, so. Just gonna try and do this real quick, and then. Oh shit. Something but. Kinda hard to look for anything, especially when Crag is so close. Just gonna go for my raptors for right now. Uh, 
Alright, so... Ideally... Mm, like I said, I just want to camp bot. Because I'm trying to get my blue form as early as possible. Top, I think it should win on its own. Obviously, I think Jack's going to outscale. But once I'm 6, I can just repeat kill top over and over. I think I'm going to try and gank from behind the back right now. So, we'll be looking for this. Get him to not waste his hook though. Okay, see that's pretty much how we play this. Just let him overextend. Now I'm halfway to my orb, so this is really good. And I can tell their ADC, Tyler1, he's really tilted. He always gets super tilted when I play versus him. Just because he plays super aggro, the, his playstyle is just... You see someone who plays as aggro as he does, you just need to camp him. Because they'll be free kills all game, and their head, they'll be so tilted that they won't want to play anymore, so... And like psychological warfare, but it's the right thing to be doing. It's not like I'm just camping bot for no reason. It's the quickest way to my form, and you now it's free kills pretty much every time I go down. Yeah, so there's Gragas. Oh, they didn't respect that. I should have pinged it out. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough, I think. It's gonna be really rough. Okay. I think maybe I should try and get a gank off mid. Ifter's pretty good, so I think we could do something with him. That'd be fairly ideal. I think if we gotta give that, we just gotta give that. Just gonna look for the top invade here, farm it up. Smite that, they're gonna go get Infernal 100%, so I just gotta trade these top camps for Infernal. Maybe, uh, try and kill mid or something. All I can really think of. Chess it or charm though. He's way too far back. I think that he has vision of me or something. Yeah, so, I'll push its control warden. I believe this itself is warded right now, so I don't know. Yeah, see, look how safe their mid and top are being played. Can't really do much there. The only place I can really do anything is bot, so it's pretty rough. I would love to get a gank off here, but I'm scared Gragas just runs straight up and counter ganks it because he doesn't really have anywhere else to go. The only place that he could have gone is either straight top or in my jung, but I don't think he would have won in my jung. Probably not uh, smart enough because he's not a uh, jung man. He's autofill. Losing that first infernal sucks, but I feel like one infernal is heavily overrated. People would think it's like game changing. I think it's good, but definitely. If you can get like a good amount of camps for it, I think you could snowball your gold lead over. I mean, overall, it's gonna add up to being like what, like a long sword buy or something? I don't know. I think too crazy. Yeah, so Gragas is just gonna hard camp bot now because he knows that I was going bot often, so. This gives me a lot of time for my bot to just play safe and for me to farm it up. He's going to spend a lot of time where there isn't no camps for him to farm. So if I'm farming both jungles, I'm just going to get really huge. The only thing I cannot do is try forcing bot. I need a way for their bot to force, and then I counter it. There's no way we win a 3v3 if I'm forcing. Uh, see what's missing, so it's kind of dangerous. Alright, well I'm going on the top side of the map. Tell them be careful. I just farm down here. Up is easily dove. I feel like Jax is actually really fucking hard to dive. That's just me. Oh, see, he doesn't really give me the right form, so I'm very hesitant on it. I think.
quizzing. Sure he's pinging. Sitting up for the top dive or whatever. Try to warn him. Really well played by Shifter. I got the wrong form though. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm just gonna go red form. I don't have Ravenous Hunter, but honestly, in a game like this, I just want to go whichever form I get quickest. So I wanted to go blue form, but this is definitely gonna be a red form game for now. Looks like we get a double kill bot. It's actually pretty good for us. And I'm getting really ahead of Gragas, so. Alright, so I'm just gonna get this. That was really good for us, jeez louise dude. That was insane. So now, this is the fun part of the game. The first part of the game is mostly just playing smart and safe. But now, we, this is where we take over the game. So, I'm gonna be going red for him. I wanna probably rush into Tabby, I don't know. Nah, I'll just rush Tabby. You don't heal if you upgrade your, um, your form in the fountain. So this is why I wait a little bit to upgrade it. Uh, if you look at my HP, yeah, you only heal when you're, um, you only heal when you're, um, not upgrading for him. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so. Da -de -da -de -da. It's going to half bot again, probably get a free kill. I can easily win a 3v3 now if I play it really good. Raven's pretty hard to hit with the W though, because, you know, he has a lot of movement speed. Oh, this guy's fucking Predator's back up. It's actually really fucking strong. Uh -huh. Wow, Kaisa sniped that guy. Alright, so that's sweet. Dude, Shifter is going insane. I love it. <laughs> now this game's just going hugely in our favor, so. Yeah, like I said, once you get your form, you can almost always win a 2v2 or 3v3. Unless your team is insanely behind, but that was pretty well played. I just killed the Ari and then got my R off on the Draven, healed, but I don't... I think I was ignited for a little bit. Yeah, usually you want to hold on to your R to wait for your, um... To wait for your CDs. So, like, I was waiting for my Q, and then I was, uh, waiting for the ignite to wear off, I think. Maybe I didn't get ignited, I don't know, but, uh, I was just waiting to wait. So that was sweet. You could definitely see that Ninja Tabby helped me out a lot there as well. So overall, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna get Phage and base, and then, um, oof, he rushed. Ex he rushed Bloodthirster. So once I get Executioner, he's gonna be really, really worthless. You know, I notice a lot in lower elo games, people do not get Executioner enough if they have a lot of healing, especially against champs, even Kane, especially against champs like this. You definitely want to get like Executioner or something like Morello's. Whatever you're playing, like, you got healing is so fucking underrated of a stat. It's insane. So, if you guys ever see, like, someone do something like that, you gotta make sure that you get, especially for Kane, Black Cleaver into an Executioner. It's very crucial. You will see your damage speed next level. Ow. By the way, if you smite, uh, as it, as you CC the scuttle, it does more damage as well. I don't know if you guys knew that, because you know how uh, CC lets you do overall more damage to the scuttle? It works on smite as well. That's something people didn't really know as well. So, I have my, uh, have my fade, so I'm definitely not really scared to fight anybody. But once I get Black Cleaver, that's one of your hugest power spikes in the game. That's when you can just start 
1v9 in the game. That's usually... And I'm like, okay guys, no matter what, we can win. You're just giving so much damage up to that point, it's insane. Oh wow, that was a really good hook. I think we could just dive here. Yeah. I wanted to reset the tower aggro since I was uh, in focus on right there. I did not want to too many tower shots. So, that's pretty good. I, I try to aim my W for Draven because he was stuck in a spot where he only had one place to run. He either runs forward and dies to my team or he runs back and I CC him. So, that's pretty much just like a zoning W. A lot of people would think that's like, oh, like, oh, this guy's challenger. He missed like this skill shot. But it's actually to keep him in that spot because it's guaranteed two free kills. As long as he doesn't like have an escape, so I'm just like making sure there's nowhere he can go. So I'm just gonna keep farming. I maybe should have gave that blue to shifter, but I don't think he minds. Uh, he's gonna be basing soon anyway, but yeah. Kane's actually really good with blues, so that's something that people don't really realize as much either. This champion really excels with it. I think we should get ocean right now. We have a uh, Draven on the top side of the map, so this just means that the objective on the bottom side of the map should uh, be I think. Go kill this guy, I think. Should just go for this real quick. If this guy just helps me, we do it really easy. Then I'll uh, go mid. So we can go mid here. Don't need to smite it. So we're just trading towers, I think. Or, or yeah, I think we'll actually save. That. I'm gonna get this blue and make sure I sweep her to make sure it stays alive. Max is gonna see me right here, so smite it and get out. Alright, so now I have my black flavor. I'm huge right now. Yeah, we kinda don't really want Ari in a side lane because uh, I don't know if you guys know this, it's one of those new broken uh, mid lane builds, it's like glacial augment with the uh, wind shadows, it's very 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 good. And um, yeah, so what pretty much it entitles, it gives them, it's like perma slowing them, it's like a, it's like another CC essentially, it's like a hard CC. So it's just great overall. No. Uh, if you're not super behind, I think it definitely just works, benefits your team. It's like a very team, team play build. So obviously instead of being in the side lane he wants to be mid to where he can make more plays around his team. So yeah, definitely getting black cleaver here. I mean uh ripped here. So big that I just wanna get all the objectives on the map and just force with our team. Once I get executioner, I can pretty much just carry any team fight. As you notice, the support usually roams a lot with me and makes plays with me. That's pretty much how supports like Thresh are with a champ like Kane. With like a strong carry type jungler. Support will usually just follow you around and help you get objectives and whatnot and just stay on top of the game. Okay, so it looks like they're sending five top, so we really got to be cautious. I'm standing here because this is like the place where they'd go if they were trying to, um, they were trying to, what do we call it, collapse on my team. So I was just standing at the spot to where my, all my entire team couldn't die. I'm going to look here, here in the spot trying to see if there's an invade. Oh, the... there's a Gromp, sweet. Okay, so yeah, look at Draven's build. Once I get Executioner, he's gonna do not only no damage, but he's also gonna be um, dying really easily. As opposed to right now, he's actually pretty hard to kill. That's honestly his main ideology with that build, is just being hard to kill. So the longer that he's alive, the more damage he can get off. That's why he's doing that build that some people would determine is really weak. It's actually not that weak, because, you know, obviously... It's about like consistent damage, I suppose. Okay, so I got him. I got out. Um, I'm gonna put my rift. I just did it all the way over there in case I get CC'd or something. Sweet. Alright, that was great. 
The team's doing amazing this game. I think we get a mid inhib here. But mid inhib's really, really gonna be uh, beneficial for us right now. Just gonna apply so much pressure, but the thing is, giving up and uh, taking an inhib isn't always that great because the thing is, you get denied a lot of CS because the super minions will be killing. Uh, it'll be killing the obviously the wave that you should be farming, and all the supers give up a lot of gold. So it's pretty much like giving a cannon every wave. So it's gonna be giving up a lot. Um, but other, I think. Uh, it's gonna, if we do it properly, like if we uh, use the pressure properly, we can just win. This guy has no flash, so. Huh. Yeah, if we just jump through man on him. He's very tilted, I can tell you. If you camp a player like this, he's always gonna tilt insanely hard and just be, uh, be a non factor for his team. So, as I mentioned, Executioner, and then I'm gonna be getting Spirit Visage because they have a lot of mixture and AP and AD damage, so. Spirit Visage alongside with this build just gives you a lot of healing because you know 40.5% of spell damage are, uh, You heal for that much, so it's just insane. So Spirit Visage is usually an item I almost always get especially against um, you know AP and AD um, So if they're obviously all AD then maybe I'll get like death stance or something anything to amplify more healing is great um, She since you know none of them really have Executioner or Morello yet, so I'm just gonna be really hard to kill I I think I can honestly like 1v3 or 1v4 in a fight. I don't really want to go for it because I want to play off my team. You never really want to be too much of a selfish player. Like sometimes, you know, if I'm trying to make a montage play, definitely go for the 1v5 or whatever. But most of the time, it's like I'll just play off my team and get a win. <laughs> so I've just been obviously, once, once you get those early towers and you start taking towers, the main thing you do as a jungler is just get vision, look for picks, and take the enemy's camp. So Always trying to farm camps. That's why this guy had a like a 20 CS lead on me early on because of my path thing. But now I have like a 60 CS lead, so it's actually really good for us. We don't have a mountain, so we can't really put too much pressure on the Baron. But I think we, can, we just try and look for a pick because it's very hard to siege against their comp. Kaisa is really good for doing Baron actually, so I don't know. We probably could. We might be able to do this. Uh, Already getting kind of low. That's the issue. I think we should start it and then turn. Yeah. Yeah, because we have Ari, so this is where we make a pick. Yeah, see, so what we do there is we start Baron, they know they were on it, and then we turn, and then we kill them, and then once we kill them, then we just go back onto Baron. So, that's honestly really good. Now that they have no smite to. You know, could test this. They might try and steal with Zerathar, but, you know, obviously, uh, 100 damage is more than whatever this guy can offer. So, just make sure that you get the smite down. You're good. Now we base and get mountain. This would be good. I don't really have anything too insane to buy, but I could do this, and then I'll do that. So, I'm just, I, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I'm building almost all damage. Look at my runes, it's all pretty much damage heavy. I'm about to, I'm about to have my Dark Harvest fully stacked, along with, these runes are pretty much what I always run. Uh, besides the fact, um, I usually get Ravenous Hunter when I go Red Cane. Ignore that Discord message, that was someone coming me, I don't know why, but, um, usually, uh, I go Ravenous Hunter instead of Relentless Hunter, which is this one, uh, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, both are very strong in their own way, but these runes are the runes I run every game, so if you look at my damage output, I actually have a lot of damage, and I have a lot of defensive stats as well, alongside with, like, a really good amount of healing without them having... Too much good, good anti-healing. They have uh, Morellos now, which is gonna be good, but it's not enough because Zerith isn't gonna be hitting me the entire fight. In fact, he really shouldn't be able to hit me at all because Ari and Quinn should be diving on the Zerith for team fights ideally. So he should be playing to peel back, not like poke me out, you know. So I'm gonna have Dark Harvest stacked right about now. You get Baron, the main thing you want to do is make sure mid stays pushing. Obviously, it's gonna auto push because of the supers, but then you want to make sure that bots not only only, um, you know, both side lanes are pushed out as well, so we have uh, Kaisa pushing out top. I'm just hovering around because I want to make sure that they do not collapse on her because that would be very, very bad. If anyone gets caught out, then kind of uh, makes our push a bit delayed and, you know, obviously Baron doesn't last for super long, so you do not want to delay that at all. We gotta wait for Ari pressure, so we're gonna wait for next wave in order to do anything alongside with the, you know, mid. I want to get pushed here is very ideal. Okay, I got 
cut out. That was pretty sad. I don't know if you guys know this, but people actually pick Gragas a lot in uh, being a cane counter because he can cancel your Q with his E, so not being able to Q there made me not be able to kill Jax and it made me not heal anything, so I just insta died. That was pretty sit shitty. I thought we would have had more damage to kill the Jax, but we didn't, so that's actually really bad, especially since I just mentioned how we can't get big. Um, but it looks like we're setting up something good here, so that's really nice. They did use quite a lot to get kill on me anyway, so... Yeah, Jax is doing a lot of fights. Yeah, Jax is one of those champions where if we kind of even bit un like unfocused, it's gonna get fucked. Yeah, that was pretty bad overall for us. Alright, well, I'm almost at Visage, so that'll be really big. Regardless, we just need to, like, team fight. That's the main thing. I don't think I should be taking red, but I really just want to get as much gold as I can right now just to get Visage, because it's such a nice buy. And then, obviously, after Visage, I'm going to be getting uh, GA. That'll be very, very good. Alrighty. Give this to Ari. Let me get Spirit Fistage and I'll be right there. Okay, so this is really big now. Now... Um, so pretty much he said what we're going to do, we're going to use Ari's, uh, what's called Twin Shadows, to uh, just set up a free skill shot, pick whoever we can, it'll be good. Gragas is really behind on me, so that's really good, something to play off of. The only way they can really do, do much to me is just by stacking CC like they did. The only reason that worked was because it, I was like a 2v5, so that was just really assumed by me, but, I mean, sometimes you just make mistakes like that because you think you have more damage or whatever. I think if I killed Jax there, it would have been really worth, so I don't know. It's an honest mistake. Zerith's smoke is just so fucking tedious. Yeah. pushing yeah. I can always try and make a flash play but we need ours twin shadows there's like a good uh, knock up to hit we can definitely like combo them the me and Ari that up pretty hard. Jax counter strike, cancel my auto. So glad I lived there. Did you see my first Q over the wall? I fucked that up. Yeah, that was crazy. It could have went really bad. Uh, he had Sterix pop, uh, pop so I, I tried to hit my W, but um, he was only CC'd for like half the time of what I thought he'd be CC'd for, so that's really fortunate for that guy. I honestly heal a lot here, so... Yeah, being able to step up and just that pressure but by autoing the, the tower or whatnot is very good, I think. Oh my goodness. It's insane. So obviously they're going to be going for the drag there. I think I can heal up really nicely. Aaron, I guess. Alright. 
getting Discord messages. It's fucking annoying. Jax is just doing the dragon while doing this, it looks like. Okay. So we got Baron, they got Infernal. I guess it depends on who thinks it's worth or not. I think if we get the second inhib right now, it's definitely worth for us. In fact, we might even be able to do more because we did just get two free kills. It's really big. You guys CC's him. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Alright. Well, boys, that's a full Red Kin game against Tyler1 and TF played at Shift on my team. My team did very good. I felt like uh, this was an overall great game. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Sorry I didn't talk as much. I just woke up, but I feel like I was a tad bit informative. Either way, see you guys next time. Love you all.